There are lots of questions that keep me up at night, and lately I've been losing sleep over who would win in a basketball game between J.J. Barea and Taco Fall. But we're going to take this up a notch, going to take it up to another level in this video. In this scenario, it's going to be five J.J. Barea-sized Taco Falls versus one Taco Fall-sized J.J. Barea. Hey guys, this is Troy, host of the Half Court Report YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber already, please consider doing so. It would help me out a lot, and I would love to have you be a part of this channel. The NBA is suspended, but that doesn't mean I'm stopping with my content. New videos are coming out all the time. Also, hit me up on Twitter at Half Court Report. So I got this idea from someone who posted the question on the Real GM message board, and I think it's a pretty fun scenario. Let's break down the matchup here. You've got J.J. Barea, who in this alternate reality has the proportions of Taco Fall. Seven foot five and about 300 pounds. Then on the other end, the supersized J.J. Barea will be going up against five Taco Falls, who are 5'10". Now, it's important to remember each player has the skills he normally has already. So this 7'5 J.J. Barea is going to have deep three-point range, be a smooth ball handler, a good finisher close to the basket, and all in all, a pretty good athlete. One thing you might not consider is that 7'5 Barea is still going to be lightning quick, but unlike real-life Barea, have really long legs, too. He's going to be covering ground in a quicker amount of time than somebody like Giannis does. Berea in real life is also a good rebounder for his size, so just imagine how good he'd be at 7'5". This player won't be a great defender, and his nice passing won't matter either because he's going to be playing by himself, no teammates. On the other side, the five tacos will not only be 5'10", but they'll also be incredibly slow. The rebounding and blocks are going to be a strength, but then you've got to wonder how much of an impact will that even make against a 7'5 Berea? you got to think they'll get some rebounds just because of their sheer numbers, but is that even going to make that much of a difference in this scenario? Shooting is going to be a big issue. These five tacos will have no range at all. They'll have no spacing because each player will have to play in the paint. That's going to help 7-5 Berea because he won't have to defend anyone close to the three-point line. And real-life Taco is also very foul-prone and turnover-prone. So the 5-10 Tacos are going to be as well. All of this to say, the 7-5 JJ Berea will destroy this team of 5-10 Tacos. 7-5 Berea's game needs to be keeping the ball high, trying to get in the paint, and drawing fouls. Berea could live at the free throw line in this scenario if he wants to because when he gets to the rim, he'll be unstoppable. He's going to get fouled or he's going to make the shot. I think he'll be able to get some separation and shoot from three as well. If all five of the tacos are surrounding him, I even think a pretty effective move would be to just throw the ball off the backboard, go up for a rebound, kind of alley-oop it to yourself, or get the rebound, take it back, take it back out and reset. Think of it like a dad playing on a Nerf hoop with his kids. He would destroy them. The five tacos plan needs to be when the ball is inbounded, just immediately have three of the tacos swarming J.J. Barea and try to get a steal. If that happens, you can then throw the ball down the court to two of the other tacos who are waiting under the basket. Then you can maybe get an uncontested layup. Skill-wise, you don't stand a chance, so you've got to use those numbers to your advantage somehow. Try to get deflections, defend without fouling, find the open man. So this was a fun video. Let me know in the comments what you think. What types of fantasy matchups would you like to see? Maybe we'll do a video on it. Consider hitting that subscribe button too. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time on the Half Court Report. Hey guys, one more thing. Here's some more videos to check out on the Half Court Report channel. I hope you like them and thanks for watching.